In this video I'm going to make a quick superior steel implant. This is not a patient case and there's a sufficient bone not to do this, but this is an example only. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go and put some teeth in there. So in the wax up module I'm going to import a generic tooth library and we're going to choose a few teeth. So that's say from here to there. And then we're going to put these into the position. Now all of the upper I don't need at this stage. So what I'll do is I'll just hide them in a different collection for now. And then we're going to semi-permanently hide this collection. And the sinus airways we don't need either. And all of these little bits and pieces. All right, now I'm going to take these teeth and put them into position. Something like this. This is just an arbitrary quick way of demonstrating how this would potentially work. So I'll just put these sort of into um, occlusion. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a few abutments. Like that. Alright, so we're going to put these into the other collection in the crown module. And then that will then remesh. And then in the components module, I'm going to be looking for the rows and screw. And we're going to import these components. Now there is a multi-unit in here but you would obviously use your own system. Then we're going to select these components, parent them and we're going to copy this three times. Then I'm going to take these and move them into position. something like this and put them where I want them to be. Maybe like that. I'm going to still individually move them around a bit. So this one I'm going to lift that one because we've got tissue over here. So and I'm going to move this one a little bit like that. And then we're going to do the same for the other two. I think this should be okay for this example. Of course we don't know how high the tissue is, but we could see this on a CT scan for example. Alright, we're going to leave it at that. Then I'm going to take the mandible, we're going to go into the block out module, we're going to create an offset model, which is 0 0.2, you can put this at any thickness you want, and then we're going to remesh this model. Now we don't need such a fine mesh, it'll just slow things down. I'll set that to 0 0.3 and we're going to finish this offset model. Now what we're going to do is we can paint our layer. So I'm going to be selecting my, my mandible, my offset model, and in the guide module we're going to start painting. So what I'm going to do is we're going to simply paint a little layer and, and this is up to you how you, you do this layer. So I'm, I'm not going to advise, I'm not an expert in this, but um, you can do this your own way whether you want to recess it into the bone or do whatever you want to do. But just for this example I'm going to just make an easy layer. I'm going to set this layer at um, uh, three millimeters, so that's 1.5 millimeters thick. Again, 
that is up to you to decide how how you want this to be. I'll just briefly exit this and then I'm going to enter the painting again. Make sure that I've got it nicely covered all the way, something like that. And on this side as well. And then after that we're going to smooth that. Accept the layer and smooth it. Like that. And we're going to then exit and finish it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to unify these multi-unit abutments to the layer. So I'm going to take them, select the, the green layer last, go to Edit, Ball Tools and Union. Following that we're going to, we can cut out the inside of it. Back to the Guide module, go to where the finishing is and click on this button here to cut the fitting surface. Now that we've got the fitting surface, this is what it then should look like. Next we may want to add a few holes going through this green layer in case you want to screw it tight or something. So again this is up to you. I'm going to place my cursor, Shift A. I'm going to create a cylinder and I'm going to open up this menu. I'll say, okay, the radius of it is um, I don't know how thick these screws are, maybe maybe they're 1.5 or 2 millimeters. So let's put the radius at 1 millimeter. We're going to set this at 20 or um, 50, no actually less, 10. And we're going to hit this button here where it says align to view. And that will align this exactly to my view. And then I can move this around. And then we're going to shift right click to place a cursor and do exactly the same thing. So shift A and this time it will be in it's in the blender memory. So we're going to do exactly the same. So cylinder and just click on view. Or you can go shift D. Now on the other side we can do exactly the same thing. I'm going to just place my cursor here. Shift, shift A. I'm going to put a cylinder here, put it to the view like this, and then shift, shift D like that. And then we can put one more over here. Shift A, cylinder, and align that to the view like that, and use the G key. Now, if we want to still change things a bit, we can do so. We can use the G key and the R key just to make sure that we, we want the holes to be exactly where they should be. Alright, so this is again up to you where you're going to put them in and how thick the holes are going to be. Next thing is we're going to select the screen part. We're going to go to the Wax Up module right at the bottom and this is the object being cut. And then we're going to select all these little three and the, these are going to be the inserts. So click on inserts. But before we click on inserts, we, we want to make sure that we apply the scale of these. This is quite important because otherwise Blender will take a long time to, to um, calculate. So apply and just click on all transforms. Then click on name inserts. Then what we're going to do is apply, it's going to remesh it with a spacer and we're going to cut the hole like this. Alright, so this is basically finished. I can delete these like that. Let's just delete these. Okay, so this structure is finished. Now let's focus on the top structure. So the first thing I want to do is I want to unify these. So I can go into the crown module, select these, but before I do that I'm having a look at the necks 
of these teeth and I don't like them because I want them a little bit higher. So in the crown module I'm going to go to this menu here and for, for now let's just hide these first. I'm going to select these blue um, abutment sleeves and we're going to make a few tubes. So click on the tube and accept the tube. Next one and accept them. Last one and accept this tube. Following that we're going to unhide our teeth and I'm going to briefly edit the bases. So in transparent mode, C key, I'm going to make sure the magnet tool is off, proportional editing tool is on, and I'm going to move this up a little bit because the tooth neck is going to be round about over here. I'm going to scale this as well and I'm going to move this into position like that. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. We're going to just scale this like this using the G key like that. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, and then ob object, then what we're going to do, oh, this one is not quite where I want it to be. Like that. We're going to unify these. Go to the bridging and click on this, unify objects. Next we're going to connect them up. Click on Propose Border. Okay, so just inspect that your border is above the surface, which it is most, and then cut the mesh. And then complete it. Then I'm going to go Control I and hide, select it, smooth. Let's give this a quick smoothing like that. Perfect. That's good. Lastly, let's make a few holes. We're going to move this up like that. It's looking good. Select your bridge, select fixtures and cut hole. And that's about it. Okay, these blue ones are spare, so we, we can use them again if we needed to. But that's our completed unit. Let's have a look at this. Control I hide. Perfect. Let's have a look at our little implant. That's looking nicely. Okay, this is just an example only and please don't criticize me about anything. Um, now there's specific ways to do it and um, it's up to you to source more information on these things. This is just a purely um, design tutorial. Okay, bye.